Hey, thanks for making it to Veterans Info Tap. I'm glad you made it. Happy Veterans Day today. Now, I know that the government workers, a lot of them were able to get... Sorry, I had to slide over here to grab something. My coffee. All right. So, I know that a lot of the government workers uh, were able to have Friday off, which is great. So, that was actually the Marine Corps birthday, by the way. Uh, so... Uh, here we are on Veterans Day. Now, I wanted to throw out a couple things, so stick with me here. Just a couple of my thoughts on this. I know there's a couple different things. So, one, Armistice Day uh, was the original, I guess, you know, holiday. Uh, but that changed to Veterans Day in 54. So, 1954. And uh, it has been ongoing since then, Veterans Day. Now, there has been some efforts out there to change it back to Armistice Day. However... However, I don't think that's a good idea. And let me tell you why. So, I, and I'll throw this in there. I know that some of us don't like attention, right? You don't, you don't want a stranger coming up to you and thanking you for your service. Now, there's a couple different reasons why, right? Uh, for some people, it's like, look, I, I didn't even go overseas, don't thank me for my service, right? Type of attitude. Uh, and some just, just don't like it in general, right? Um, so, the first piece is, from me to you, Happy Veterans Day, regardless of what you did when you were in. And the reason why is because guess what? We all signed the same blank check. We Every single person signed the same darn contract. And I will tell you that... We, the veteran sphere, right, uh, and and this includes actually our spouses and, and dependents who had to move with us as we go different places and all that, uh, maybe places we didn't want to go, like, oh, let's say, uh, like getting stationed at, right, so, because you're bringing your family with you, like, oh, 29 Palms or uh, Fort Irwin, you know, something like that, or uh, what is it, Edwards Air Force Base, right, those are just some beautiful, not places. So anyway, the, the idea here, at least in my mind, is we all sign the same blank check. We all sign the same contract. You individually get like zero deciding factor on, on what your time in the military looks like. Is there going to be a war? Or is there not going to be a war? If there is a war, am I being sent anywhere? Or am I staying here? Right? You don't get to make any of those calls, right? It's just all happenstance. And so when you back it up and swim upstream, right, whether you were, whether you enlisted yourself or if you were drafted, either way, because there's draft dodgers, right? You got people that, that ran away. So we all did our part and we all deserve credit for the for leaning forward and joining and and uh, doing our time in the military now i will also say that it's a very small percentage right what i don't remember the exact number whatever one percent of the population served or whatever the number is i tend to believe that we this core you know veteran group here are a very special set of people because most, obviously, by the numbers, 99% or whatever the numbers are, would, would not do what we did. Write that blank check for whatever your reasons were. Doesn't even matter, right? It's just willing to put something on the line for something you believed in. And I don't care, again, what it was. I'm, I, I joined because my whole family has been in for as far back as you can tell. It's in our you know, lineage and, and I'm doing it because I want to serve our country. Cool. Or I joined because I uh, was in a very not good position in life and this was going to help me uh, transition out of that and be able to get uh, get some school, get some training, whatever, and be able to, to change my trajectory in life. Right? Cool. You laid it on the line, wrote a blank check, signed a contract for something that you believed in. So that makes you a very, very special person in my book, right? Now, did the military change it and morph it some? Sure, yes. I mean, it, it helps to kind of, you know, whatever, for better or worse, kind of mold us a little bit. But we started off already in a very, I guess, special mindset. Now, changing the day 
from Veterans Day back to uh, Armistice Day is probably not a good idea. Let me tell you why. Why I don't think it is, is because we, again, back to the population of us being 1% or whatever it is, is a small number. Now, we could rely on just ourselves to try to get anything done legislatively, bills, getting different benefits enacted, that type of stuff. Uh, but we're a small group in the big picture. So the more outside influence that we can have, the better. Now, Veterans Day is a way to remind not only the general population, right, of the service that we had given and the blank checks that we have written. And it's not it's not just a way to remind them, but it's also it's also a way to remind our elected officials, which is also important. Because it's also if we're a small percentage of the population, it's we're also a small percentage in in Congress, right? So, and not just Congress, but your state elected officials, whether it's uh, your state representatives, your state senate, your state assembly, whatever whatever it's called for your state, down to your county level, down to your mayors in your cities, right? All of your elected officials, they need to be reminded that they are where they're at because of the back of a veteran. And... That is an important piece that needs to continue to be, I guess, a continued reminder for, for everyone. And that's why it's important that we have Veterans Day as an actual day. Um, if you change it from that, it's going to lose some of the meaning behind it and some of the, I think, the positive collateral effects that we can have, right? Kind of some of this cascading stuff. And if you play your cards right, and I'm talking to anybody who's involved, right, with with uh, with any of their elected uh, officials, whether whether it's through one of your veteran service organizations, such as VFW or American Legion, DAV, Paralyzed Veterans, Purple Heart, you name it, right? There's thousands of them. Marine Corps League. Those organizations at the local level should be working with and uh, reminding, right, the elected officials in your area of the back of a veteran is what brought us here today, and we need to continue to support veterans and their family members. So Veterans Day is a, a day of reflection, and it's a day of remembering, which I guess is reflection, um, but I think it's also every Veterans Day is a new beginning on what we can do for veterans, right? Bam, Veterans Day. You know what? We need to start working on something, whatever it is. You know, more veteran uh, recognized parking spaces. Well, I don't care what it is. Anything that helps to recognize us in the blank checks that we've written. And I will tell you, I'll leave you on this note. We are a group of people that downplay everything that we've done. So, you know, the, the person who, you know, was in theater, overseas, whatever one you want to say, goes, yeah, you know, yeah, but you know what, I'm back alive and, and you know, there, there's, you know, many of my brothers or sisters didn't make it. You know, so you downplay it. Then it's, you know, then you have the person that says, well, you know, I went overseas, you know, but uh, I was so far back, I didn't even, you know, see really anything. I mean, we had some mortar rounds land by the, <laughs> by our area, but that was it. Uh, then you have somebody else who's like, yeah, I went overseas, but, you know, I, I never went to like theater, right? So I, I, you know, I was in Japan or I was in Germany or, well, depends which Germany, right? Um, so Germany in 80, 1980, we'll say. Um or Germany in, in 2015. Um, or, uh, you know, I, I was in, I did my time, but uh, I never left the U.S., right? So we keep just, it's, there's always somebody who, who did more, who, who left more on the line, who, who gave more. There's always going to be that. And so we downplay what, what we've done. And the, the reality is, again, back at the beginning, 
we all wrote the same check and where we got sent and when we got sent really wasn't up to us and what wars popped up or didn't pop up wasn't up to us so uh we'll leave it on that i appreciate each and every single one of you so very much i hope you have a great day happy veterans day and uh, we'll see you next time remember if we don't take care of each other something went wrong <laughs>